Don't Same dance around it. Who's tougher? Cruz. Who's tougher? You, who's D-Mac? tougher? <laughs> Hockey players all day. NFL all day. No, absolutely NFL not. NFL all day. You know you're going to get hit by one of these guys, and you can't see it coming. You're like, I got to commit to the slant. I know I'm going to get killed. I may not wake up. I may wake up in the locker room smelling salt and then mm. go back on the field. So earlier today, this morning, I was watching ESPN because we don't steal stuff. We give the credit for where we get stuff from. There you watching go. ESPN. I was watching Get Up. And they had my boy P.K. Subin on there talking to RG3. They were talking about which is the tougher sport. Are NHL players tougher? Are NFL tuckers, uh, players tougher? Got me to thinking. I know an NHL player. In fact, I know a great NHL former player. And Darren McCarty, shout out to Big D Energy. I said, let me ask that guy, who's tougher, NHL, NFL? So here's a conversation earlier today on just that. Who's tougher, d Matt? NHL or NFL players? Age old question. Well, you were named after a pretty tough, why, or you won an award after pretty the Belitnikov. He was pretty tough, but uh, you know that's 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 a great question. At the end of the day, who is tougher, a hockey player or a football player? I think that is a deep dive because it t- is a deep dive because toughness is equated so much differently. It's not just can I think hockey players can take a better punch in the face. Because we're used to it. Here's a political aspect of it. Okay, okay, I see it. No, I no, no. It. Because, because this is the Don't same dance thing around to Who's tougher? Cruz. Who's tougher? You, who's D-Mac? tougher? <laughs> Hockey players all day. NFL all day. No, absolutely NFL not. NFL all day. You got no. No NFL way. NFL all day. No way. You guys get to dance on skates and fight. Oh, well, oh, my, my apologies. Wait a sec. It's not. Are it's, you saying that dancing on fighting on skates is skill. easier than no, fighting saying, on your on your feet? No, 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 no. no so no, way more skill than that. Not only do like, I I disagree. I think that you put hockey players in football, they'd survive. It's called rugby. Played it. That's the closest thing. What it's called? No what it's called like is that. knowing knowing that Ray Lewis that is going to hit you hey, running you slant the, and still running that slant. Oh, big oh big deal. Oh, I'm sorry. What, you what is going over to the, the middle? Whatever, like this. Or how about this? B? Yeah, I'm waiting. How about? Having to take your helmet off and actually stand there when there's a five on five or a bench brawl where there's nowhere to hide and you have to stand there and slug it out with a guy or be in part of that. How about that same bench brawl with Aaron Donald and Vaughn Miller on the opposite side of you? Why, why is everybody looking at me like no, I'm, I'm the referee? You don't think like we that. got Vaughn Miller's and the, the, the biggest thing is when one, you used one, to one play and two. I used to play, we used to say, thank God. Right? The yeah. linebackers and defensive linemen don't skate. Well, they do now. There's guys that are 6'4", 5'6", 8". Zidane Ochara? Zidane Ochara might be the toughest human being. Demario Williams got drafted. He was 6'8", 300. I get Let's it. Let's go so you, it. So you have different guys. But on right. the average, I think foot, if you take the whole thing, yeah. you guys also have kickers. So if you take the whole oh, thing, I don't do that. I've never seen Sidney Crosby get into a fight. <laughs> he doesn't need to, but he's tougher than hell. Same, what same thing? Our kickers don't need to get into a fight. But Sidney Crosby, you can't say he's not one of the toughest people you've ever Who's seen. Who's the number one toughest? Pod- isn't fighting. Who's the number one podcast in the world right are- now? What's his name? Well, Big D Energy. No, well, I'm oh. not talking about. No, that. I'm talking about say? terms. Of oh. You know, Pat, I'm talking I about Pat McAfee. Think, I think- How many times have you seen Pat McAfee lay guys out? He was a kicker. He I get it. That's one. We got, I got goalies to name. I'll I'll match the tough goalies got, with your got tough Dick, kickers. I got Mike Dick is the name. Dick Buckus is the here's name. Here's the final question, right? We got to do no, this no, for here's real. Here's the final this, question. We got to do this for real. I got a real. question, right? You see this online all the time. It's Spencer. Is a lot that of fun. great or what? It's a lot of fun. It's something I thought about because it's the age-old argument. I'm pretty sure... I'm, I'm pretty sure 10 times in your life you've had this conversation or thought about this. Maz, you're a little older. I'm pretty sure you have had this conversation 50 or 60 times thinking about the 60s and 70s and 80s in NHL and in the NFL. It's just a fun conversation to have. I thought it was something to bring to the network. And I want to really sit down. I think DMAC and I are going to sit down over about 15, 30-minute combo. DMAC there. I'll sit here. I think we'll hash this thing out and figure it out once and for all. Who's tougher? I think you're all crazy. <laughs> Football well, players. But notice that's why we neither yeah. one of us mentioned crazy because we know we were all crazy. Football players and hockey players yeah. are, are a we're special mental. breed. I mean, you, yeah. you got to be nuts to play either game. The only yeah. edge I will give, I'll give the hockey players, only because they're on freaking ice. But they start skating when they're two years old. So for them, it's just like walking. So that, that gets nullified. 
You think that gets nullified? They start skating when they're two, three, four years old. Yeah, but you think it's nu- you think it's nullified? One hundred percent. All right. One hundred percent. Because to tell me that Aaron Donald is gonna, what's the smallest receiver in the league? Tariq Hill, somebody like that. Yeah. Yeah, he still can get hit by Aaron Donald just like a big tight end can. I would say this, okay, and I love you. Yeah. But. But what? I would have to give the nod to hockey players. Yeah. It, there's only one sport where a puck could <laughs> knock out the the oh, the entire mouth of teeth yeah. and have the guy come Keep back playing. in the game. If, if that happened in a baseball game, the guy's out for 10 days. Out for the year. No, but, but, it, but don't be in baseball to it, though. <laughs> NFL, I mean, you've never seen guys lose to the NFL. Now, obviously, so I think because of that, right. most people would say, because a lot of your injuries do not involve blood. They're internal, right. whether it's a leg, a knee, uh, a rib, yeah. a, a shoulder. You can't physically see the injury. But you do see, okay, I'll give you an example. You're right. You don't see the blood. You don't see necessarily the scar or whatever. Mm-hmm. But when you were watching in 1986. Joe Theismann? And you looked at Joe Theismann's leg on TV. No doubt. You didn't have to see blood to see that his leg was facing the complete opposite. No way. doubt. <laughs> you looked at his leg and was like, that ain't supposed to go like that. Yeah, but that doesn't make him tough. That makes him injured. He came back the next year and made the Pro Bowl. Yeah. But two years later. Okay, That's listen. True. Listen to me. Willis McGahee, did you see the hit of Mike Doss, Willis McGahee? All right, hold on. Six months later, he gets drafted first round. Let, let, let me settle this. Hockey players win this, and yeah. they win it because of this. They step in the front of 115, 120-mile slap shots. They literally put their entire body in front of shots. Have you ever seen these SOBs? I've, I've just give their bodies up to stop a shot from yeah. getting to their goaltender. Now let's now go how back. Much, now how much does that equipment cost? Go back the way? to the 60s. How much does that equipment cost? Go back to the 60s. Oh yeah, now, okay. Now you got me there. Goaltenders didn't wear masks. Yeah. I Is it fair to say collectively? Yeah. Hockey players would be because of course no. if you're individuals like you're tougher than, you know, maybe a Sidney Crosby, right. but you know, collectively, Forsberg, per yeah. capita, yeah. you know, I mean, in the NFL, because there's there's more players in the NFL than in the NHL. Yeah. And I hate these arguments. They're fun arguments. They're fun. But the thing I hate about them, too, is anytime you're trying to prop one side up, you got to try you, to knock the other one down. But you don't have to knock the other one no. down. You have knock the other one no. down. Just have the conversation of exactly. what more have you seen from each side. Just Football. like when Matt, when Matt's threw out there in 60, the goalies mm. weren't wearing uh, yeah. masks. I'm like, in football, they weren't wearing helmets in right. the 60s. Football players go. are amazing. Just, yeah. it's, an ama- it's a car crash. It's a car crash sport. Mm. I would put it out to our, our listeners. You ever seen anybody hit, uh, get hit by Dick Train? Uh, I mean, Dick Knight Train Lane? How about Dick Butkus? I mean, how Mike, about Mike Singletary? Ma- how about Pat McAfee? It doesn't I matter. Him. I mean, I know you name it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Getting, right. hit by any, getting hit by the worst NFL player yes. in the history yeah. of the game is, is equivalent to being in a car crash. I'll put it to you this way. Both sports are damn tough. They are. And I respect the hell out of hockey players. D-Mac knows that as well. He's one of my good friends, brother, my dad and him love each other. Um, I would just say this last thing, and this isn't even a, 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 to sway a point. This is this. To know that you are going to go across the middle and catch a slant or catch an in route, and you know Bob Sanders is on the other side, Troy Palomalu, Ray Lewis, uh, Ronnie Lott. Yeah, that woke you up over there, Maz. Ronnie Lott oh. or Steve Atwater. Mm-hmm. You know you're going to get hit by one of these guys, and you can't see it coming. You're like, I got to commit to the slant. I know I'm going to get killed. I may not wake up. I may wake up in the locker room smelling salt and then mm-hmm. go back on the field. I think it's another thing when you know you're going to get into a fight and you drop your clubs and you're fighting. There's another thing when you don't know it's coming. It's tough. I'm just talking about these guys in hockey that yeah. they, they literally lay out on the ice to take shots Yeah. so it won't get to the goaltender. True. They're, never mind the fights. Fights yeah. aside. I've seen, players Ronnie, get kicked in the, I've seen players get kicked in the chin trying to block kicks. Ronnie Lott cut his finger off to play in a game. 
His pinky finger, yeah. I mean, Tell me he's not tough, I mean, right? Football I mean, and hockey. And it was a halftime. Unbelievable sports. Unbel- they're yeah. car crash sports. How many times have a football player gotten a shot of cortisone or yeah. whatever the oh shot God. is? They, Hello. To yes. go play Hello. in the game, right? They, they get yeah. numbed. Right. Numbed up, but go play. But to your point, though, you see a lot of times in hockey, man, guys go out there and knuckle it up and come right back to the game. Guys they, get knocked. So it's, it's fun to have this debate because it's respect on both sides. It's not like it's a... It's a, a, a landslide margin of no. victory. But, you know, if you want to go hockey, I have no problem with that. Fletch, you want to weigh in? Yeah. Um, I was talking about it with Stick uh, before the show started. As much as, like, the football hits, I'm sure, suck. I've never been oh, hit in everybody football. Everybody wants to be NHL. The, okay. You could have okay. kept it. <laughs> you could have kept it. We got three, we got three NHLs already. These guys are moving faster than the nfl players will you're you're getting a guy that's coming at you 25 miles an hour that's going to blindside you in the back and you've got significantly less padding on a different helmet on so i mean like yeah the hits are different guys are different sizes but i think i'd rather be hit by a linebacker than get hit in the back by fletch Fletch, you weigh 86 pounds yeah you wouldn't want to get hit by a baseball player go to commercial go ahead can can we continue how much do you weigh fletch can we continue Uh, on with this because Uh, i got a question for you i got a question for you who is the most athletic no don't do that don't do that because you can't prove that because they're on skates no i'm talking about in all four sports that's not even close football players Oh, I'll disagree that's, with you. I'll disagree with you. It's not even close. I, I got some. You gonna say basketball you. players? Well, you just ruined my teeth now. Well, if, it's not hockey, <laughs> if it's not hockey and football, it's gotta be basketball. It was gonna be basketball. Who, who is? Can we have a conversation How about, about baseball? That? It's only kidding. Please. <laughs>